Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Thursday night once again. This evening, we're going to be in Daniel chapter 4, verses 1 through 18, and this is teaching number 11. Sometimes I wish that our country could go backward in time, because in 1863, Abraham Lincoln proclaimed that Thursday, the 30th day of April, would be a day of national humiliation, fasting, and prayer. Now, could you imagine today the president announcing a national day of humiliation in our country? I don't think so. I don't think it would fly, do you? Well, this is what Abraham Lincoln said about that day. We have been the recipients of the choicest bounties of heaven. We have been preserved these many years in peace and prosperity. We have grown in numbers, wealth, and power as no other nation has ever grown. But we have forgotten God. We have forgotten the gracious hand which preserved us in peace and multiplied and enriched and strengthened us. And we have vainly imagined in the deceitfulness of our own hearts that these blessings were produced by some superior wisdom and virtue of our own. Intoxicated with unbroken success, we, we have become too self-sufficient to feel the necessity of the redeeming and preserving grace, too proud to pray to the God who made us. It behooves us then to humble ourselves before the offended power, to confess our national sins, and to pray for clemency and forgiveness. Wow. In Daniel chapter 4, this is the lesson that Nebuchadnezzar is going to have to take in account. He's going to have to learn that one must humble themselves in the sight of the Lord, or the Lord will do the humbling. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne, and we pray this day that as we come to your word, Father, that you would just bring it alive for us, Father, that you would speak to our hearts with the power of your spirit, Lord, and just be with us this evening. May your presence fall in this place and on all the ears that are listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, time is passing. Daniel now has been in Babylon for more than 40 years, and he is nearing the age of 60. Nebuchadnezzar is now in his 70s, nearing the end of his reign and the end of his life. What we're going to see here in Daniel chapter 4 is a big change is going to come over Nebuchadnezzar, and we are going to see what caused it. In this chapter, it is the personal testimony of Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel chapter 4, beginning at verse 1, says this, To all peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied to you. 